Hey everybody, and welcome back to Misfit Corner Comics. This is yours, News Andrew speaking, and we've got another stack of new comics coming to the store this weekend. Um, actually, I picked up four collections this past weekend, so I got a whole bunch of new comics coming in from quarter books to dollar books to a couple of little bit more expensive ones, some nice ones. Um, but guess what? I ran out of bags and boards, had to make another order, and so there'll probably be more coming the following week if nothing else gets picked up this week. So needless to say, let me at least show you guys what new stuff I got that's been bagged and boarded and will be in the store this weekend. This is probably one of maybe four videos in order to spread it out a little bit. But we start with some quarter comics. These are a bunch of comics that are either dinged up a little bit, not worth trying to you know charge a dollar for i'm not going to go through every single one but i mean just a, a variety of stuff in here you got deep space nine and a bunch of image comics some some dc annuals some valiant comics some more dc some techno comics for anybody out there who wants to give that a shot uh, a couple x-men annuals some image comics you know just stuff that got a lot of uh, let's see if there's anything really good there's a punisher issue in here like I said, more Solar, Good Guys, Legion, yeah. So these aren't vitally important, but I like to make inexpensive comics available to people who just want to just want to read a comic. You know, they're good reader copies. They're not collectible ones, just simply because they're not in that great a condition. But um, that's all right. At my store, we offer a little bit of everything to everybody. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right. Let's see what all good comics we got in here. We have from Valiant Comics, Geomancer number one with the uh, wraparound chromium cover. Peter Parker, Spider-Man number 32. Batman number 531, it's the glow in the dark edition. We have Detective or Batman 507, Detective Comics number 677, Batman number 548. This is Batman 549. Uh, Gun Honey, this is issue number four from Titan Comics. Actually, I've got a bunch of different ones in here that I got from my brother-in-law, including some of the variant niche covers, which, honestly, might be worth getting uh, slab just because they're gorgeous. Another Gun Honey, this is issue number three. I don't know why we have four, three copies of this, but hey, you never know. It's a nice cover. Uh, issue number this is an alternate cover for issue number three. This is an alternate cover for issue number two. That one, one of the regular editions. This is the Adam Hughes variant for issue number one. I think this is the third printing variant, but still, it's a nice looking cover. Probably needs to be slabbed. Uh, this is issue number one. I think that's the regular edition. We have I Make Boys Cry, number two and number one. I don't know anything about this title, but somebody might be interested. Maniac in New York from Aftershock. This is issue number two. Issue number four, and I think I have a couple other ones in here. Uh, from Absolute Comics, this is Amped number one. Men in Black from Marvel Comics. I'm not sure exactly how old this one is. Yeah, might have some value to it. I'll have to double check, but you never know. We've got Uncanny X-Men number 307. Maniac of New York, uh, I believe this is issue number number three. Little Monsters, a fantastic series from uh, Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen. This is issue number five. Issue number four. There's issue number one and issue number two. I think I'm missing issue number three, but I might already have that at the store. So we have Batman Chronicles, issue number one. Batman number 511. Batman number 556, Batman number 540, Punisher War Journal number 50 with a the embossed type cover, which is kind of cool. We have Fantastic Four number 46 or 475, depending if you want to go with the legacy numbering. We have Fantastic Four number 45, number 37, number 40, Deadly Foes of Spider-Man number 3, Avengers number 366 with the gold embossed cover. Ooh, you'd think that'd be really expensive, but it's not. It's really just a standard. Uh, we got Adventures of Superman number 500. Action Comics number 512. 
Resilient, number one, also from Absolute Comics Group. I don't know anything about this title, but hey, you never know. Up oh, some more gun hunting. This is uh, issue number four. This is the Virgin cover for number four, and there's the regular cover. We have Ghost Rider 2099, number seven. Ghost Rider number 57, I believe this is the second series. Uh, Generation X, we have issues number, let's see, this is number five, uh, number four, number three, and number two. We also have Generation Next, which was part of the Age of Apocalypse crossover, issue four, three, two, and one, because I have the complete series, I'll probably bundle those together. We also have Gambit and the Externals, also from the Age of the Apocalypse. This is issue number four, three, two, and one. Same thing. Uh, Excalibur number 85. We have Red Sonia, She-Devil with a Sword, number four. This one has a stain on the front cover. Now, I did uh, press this once um, to flatten it out. It was originally a little wrinkled up came out a lot better but that stain I'm ne that's never going to come out so oh well we have supervillain team up number 10 this is a really fantastic looking book this is one of those ones where i just love the cover to where if i can press it i've already pressed it once if i press it again maybe to try to flatten it a little bit more i may send it off to be graded just simply because it's such an awesome looking cover same thing with a bunch of these this is issue number five uh, this is Red Sonia, She-Devil with a Sword, number two. This one actually came out really good. Uh, still got a little bit of a ripple right here, but um, you probably see it in the light. But um, I may press this one again just for the heck of it. We got New Mutants, number six. Super Villain Team Up, uh, number four. It's a great cover. Fantastic Four, number 42. Iron Man, 290. And we got some spawns in here too. Spawn number 65. Uh, Iron Man number 40. Spawn number 62. It's got a nice Greg Capullo cover. Uh, Todd McFarlane Spider Man issue number 11. It's a good one. Amazing Spider Man number 35. This is the one, this is the issue in which uh, um, Aunt May finds out Peter Spider Man. So it's kind of cool. I think it might actually be worth a pretty penny. Not a big penny, but a pretty penny. Spawn number 13, 37, 11, 15, 66, and last but not least is another copy of Iron Man number 40. All right, so all these comics, new bags and boards will be in the store this weekend. If there's anything in here interesting, come on by and we'll sell them to you cheap. And remember, if you're ever looking to get rid of your comics, you want to trade them in or sell them, bring them by. We'll make you an offer. We'll, we'll treat you fairly. And uh, you never know. You might actually get something really good out of it in trade or cash. A lot of people like cash. <laughs> All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Hey, everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. And we'll catch you all next time.